Lipids are a large and diverse group of nonpolar organic compounds that are related by their general insolubility in water. There is great structural variation among lipids. Categories of lipids include the following. In this video, I will briefly cover fats and fatty acids and sterol lipids. Fatty acids are parts of fats. Here's a Lewis structure showing a fatty acid. There are two components to a fatty acid, nonpolar hydrocarbon chain and the polar carboxylic acid group. Because the nonpolar hydrocarbon chain occupies so much of a fatty acid, fatty acids are in general considered to be nonpolar. Understand these terms as they apply to fatty acids. A saturated fatty acid is one in which the hydrocarbon portion of the molecule contains carbon-carbon single bonds saturated with hydrogen atoms. Unsaturated fatty acid is one in which the hydrocarbon portion of the molecule contains at least one carbon-carbon double bond. Monounsaturated fatty acid is where the hydrocarbon portion of the molecule contains only one carbon-carbon double bond. And a polyunsaturated fatty acid is where the hydrocarbon part of the molecule contains two or more carbon-carbon double bonds. Here are two examples of fatty acids. The first one is a saturated fatty acid. Note there are no carbon-carbon double bonds in the hydrocarbon portion of the molecule and the carbons are saturated with hydrogen. And beneath that is an unsaturated fatty acid where there is one carbon-carbon double bond. This unsaturated fatty acid is a monounsaturated fatty acid. Here are structures of additional fatty acids. Palmitic acid is a good example of a saturated fatty acid. Oleic acid to the right is an example of a monounsaturated fatty acid. Linoleic and arachidonic acid and the remaining fatty acids are great examples of polyunsaturated fatty acids. Note that the double bonds are all cis. It is rare to find a trans fatty acid in nature. Recall from your studies of alkenes the hydrogenation reaction where an H2 molecule was added to the carbon-carbon double bond. Essentially two hydrogen atoms were added to the carbons of the double bond. This reaction saturated the carbons in the double bond with hydrogen. Many foods contain hydrogenated oils. In this figure, for example, we see part of a cis monounsaturated fat which has gone through hydrogenation. Complete hydrogenation produces a completely saturated fat. But as part of the consequence of processing unsaturated fats, trans fats are produced. Now we'll move on to fats. Fats are varying types of glyceride molecules. There are three general types of glyceride molecules, monoglycerides, diglycerides, and triglycerides. I will focus on triglycerides. I would like for you to be able to recognize the glycerol backbone, be able to predict and draw the structure of a triglyceride product from a reaction between glycerol and any three fatty acids, Know that triglycerides are fats and they are insoluble in water even though they have three ester groups. Triglycerides are formed by the reaction between glycerol, which is the molecule on the far left, which contains three alcohol groups. Glycerol reacts with three fatty acids. In this case, three identical fatty acids but the fatty acids can vary. The red ovals to the left show where the two molecules join to form the ester bond. 
As a result of the reaction, one water molecule is produced for each fatty acid that reacts with the glycerol. The hydroxyl groups on the glycerol are said to be esterified because of the new ester group that is formed in the triglyceride molecule. Here's an example of a triglyceride that reacted with three different fatty acids. A saturated fatty acid, a monounsaturated fatty acid, and a polyunsaturated fatty acid. I would like for you to verify that both of the structures are identical. Find the glycerol backbone, follow the hydrocarbon chain of each ester group. Also appreciate that the hydrocarbon chains are not static or stiff or fixed in one position. The carbon-carbon single bonds allow free rotation of a hydrocarbon. Fats that are solid contain a high proportion of long-chain saturated fatty acids or triglycerides that were produced with saturated fatty acids. Liquid fats or oils on the other hand have a high proportion of unsaturated fatty acids. Fats in oil were produced primarily with unsaturated fatty acids. Ordinary soap is related to fat. One process of making soap is saponification. The beginning of the word saponification, sapon, is Latin for soap. Saponification is the reverse reaction of the formation of a triglyceride. It is also called the reverse esterification. On the left, triglyceride reacts with three moles or three molecules of sodium hydroxide which break the ester bond, returning the glycerol molecule but now forming the conjugate base of the fatty acid. The conjugate base forms because of the basic environment in which the reaction takes place. It is the conjugate base of the fatty acid that is soap. I included this graphic of a fluid mosaic model to make you aware of how lipids, among other types of molecules, make up the cell membrane. Finally, I'll briefly present steroids. Steroids have the basic structure, which is to the left. To the right of that basic structure are three examples of steroids, hydrocortisone, cortisone, and cortisone acetate. In all three of those examples, you can see the basic ring structure of steroids. Cholesterol is an example of a steroid and is the most abundant. I would like for you to know that lipoproteins carry cholesterol and triglycerides. Lipoproteins are very large structures containing a variety of large molecules. There are three types of lipoproteins, high density, low density, and very low density. You may be familiar with the first two as HDL and LDL. HDL and LDL are included in a typical blood panel and is a measure of how much cholesterol is in the body. HDL is considered to be the good cholesterol and the LDL is considered to be the bad cholesterol. But please note, both HDL and LDL are not pure cholesterol. They are just carriers of cholesterol. HDL is considered the better cholesterol because that lipoprotein contains only 30% cholesterol versus LDL, the lipoprotein that has 50% cholesterol. I would like for you to know the classes of cholesterol meds and their function.